Um, I'm going to talk about tying the knot. It's uh, about knotted bracelets. It's kind of a, a puzzle and a gift thing. I want to give you kind of a challenge. Uh, let me just start with a commercial. Uh, if you like mathematics and art, you might be interested also in the Bridges Conference. So on your table uh, or a table near you, there's still some postcards. Um, check that out or just Google online. It makes a bridge from math to art. So if you like hands-on mathematical things or beautiful ways that uh, math is applied to art, uh, check that out. Um, so knotting a bracelet, uh, what I'm wearing, it's hard for you to see, but I will show you a picture, um, is a bracelet. It's made of a loop that's been turned into a knot. So this began as a regular rubber band, um, actually an O-ring from the hardware store because that's stronger and lasts longer. Uh, I did something to it that turned it so now there's a simple trefoil knot. And the challenge for you is, how do you do that? So the obvious thing is you can take a rubber band, you can cut it, you can tie it in a knot, and you can glue it back together. Okay, so that's too obvious. There's something different that doesn't involve that process. And if you're a mathematician and not theorist, you can give me a proof in three different ways that that's impossible to do. But never let mathematical proofs limit your imagination as to what you can do physically. Uh, it can be done. So what's the trick? Uh, we want that play. Uh, you may immediately think this is going to play, right? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Click. Um, so before we try this, we just clicked on it and the video played. Oh, play button. Good thinking. Aha, OK. Thank you. Um, so uh, this being a Martin Gardner conference, I should mention that as a youth, I can recall reading in Martin Gardner's uh, columns about a Mobius strip. You can take a strip of paper, as you all know, give it a half twist, put it together, cut it in half, and it stays together. Give it two half twists, uh, and then when you cut it in half, it has two pieces that are linked like a chain. If you give it three half twists, uh, you do this operation of cutting it down the midline, you can tease it apart, and you see that it forms a trefoil knot. So that's the key to what you have to do with the rubber band. Um, there's nothing special about the two-dimensional surface nature of paper. You can do this uh, with something physical. So we will hit the play button. And you see here's the same idea, but start with a solid block. Uh, give it a cut, which goes around it once. And as it does so, it kind of spirals around, giving a, a turn and a half of, of torsion, of, of rotation around its own cutting line. Uh, and then you have a trefoil knot. Um, so mathematically, there's no problem turning a loop if you can cut it, as long as you have to cut it that way while carefully making the twist. Can you actually do this? Why, yes, of course you can do this. And this is the challenge I'm going to give you to all go home and do this. Um, so here are the instructions. Watch the video. Uh, but basically, uh, what I have is an X-Acto knife that I've put into a vise. So it's saying they're locked and still. You can just see the top of it. So I have two hands to steer. I've taken a, a rubber band in the form of an O-ring. So you can go to any hardware store. They'll have a selection of O-rings in different sizes and materials for roughly a dollar. Um, and you just have to pull it through the knife, making a full revolution, carefully twisting it. Uh, to guide the twist, you see little silver marks there. So I've taken a silver Sharpie, and I've made a mark. If you want to, you can mark ahead of time the complete line that you're going to follow. I did this enough times that I was able to just make some key marks. So a sixth of the way around, I would make a turn. Each time, the mark goes 90 degrees further around. Uh, but you can draw the whole line. And then you just have to pull it through, uh, being very careful never to go off to the left or to the right. That's the real challenge. Um, this was not the first time I tried. It took a little bit of uh, dexterity to figure out how to keep the knife centered. If you go off to the left or the right, the, the, the cut hits the edge. You've ruined it. Uh, you have to start with another one. Um, but with a little bit of practice, um, I believe anyone can do this. It comes through, and voila, you have a loop that's been turned into a trefoil knot. So I'm wearing something like that. Um, but suppose then you say this crazy idea, maybe I'd like to make you know, roughly 280 of them so I can give one to everybody. You don't want to do that for everyone. So then you begin to think of, like, what's the way to keep this going? So the main failure mechanism is going off to the side, left or the right. Uh, so you can see this gizmo I came up with, which has um, two bolts and some nylon bearings. It acts as a roller so that uh, the blade is centered. That's a, it's a blade from a utility knife, so they're very strong. It's locked in there with a set screw. I laser cut this kind of wooden jig, put the whole thing in a vise. Now I can pull. Um, I can pull this do there. Uh, so to make the ones that we're giving to everyone who's getting one, um, all you have to do is uh, 
pull it through there, and you can go much faster because you don't have to worry about left to right. It's always going to stay down the center. You just have to focus on the twist. Uh, you just have to make your little silver marks that you can read. Uh, pull it through, and uh, there it is. Instant bracelet, uh, which you will all get to wear. Uh, we'll let the video finish through so you believe me that it really does form a knot. Uh, and by the way, they have additional videos online. If you search George Hart making knot, uh, you'll find some other ones. Um, so then uh, Elizabeth and I were able to make uh, quite a bunch of these, almost 300 of them. They're packaged up. You'll receive one in your exchange bag. Um, so let me end by saying um, that I hope when you wear this, you will, um, when you get it, you will receive it and you'll wear it in kind of celebration. Elizabeth and I changed the title. We initially put the title Knotted Bracelets when we submitted this uh, more than three weeks ago. Uh, but as of uh, March 14th, uh, we were married, and so we changed the title to Tying the Knot. <laughs> Celebrate with us. Thank you.